Welcome to Command Alet. Kicking off October today with something a little different. A little Phantom of the Opera. That's right. Andrew Lloyd Webber. Classic from the 80s. Uh, I have to admit, I'm a big sucker for Phantom, and I've seen this thing. I've seen it in downtown L.A., uh, I've seen it on Broadway, and I've seen it here in Minneapolis, and just can't get enough of Phantom. And uh, this is transcribed right from, you know, I've got the book of piano music, and I had to learn a bunch of the songs as soon as I saw the thing. So, uh, hey, it works out pretty well in the Mandy, who would have guessed, huh? Uh, before we get started, be sure to subscribe down below. Command to Lynn doing a lot of these uh, lessons and tutorials and sometimes reviews and things of that nature. Uh, be sure to visit the Command Lynn store for t-shirts and stickers and hoodies and all the fun stuff and of course uh, I'll put the uh, PayPal and now I'm fancy Venmo too uh, links down below uh, if you're checking out the channel getting something from the channel uh, could kick it a buck or two would be most appreciated uh, and my sincere thanks to people who have actually done that my goodness thanks so much all right uh, let's get after it huh? we've got a lot of ground to cover here Phantom of the Opera. So it's in three keys. Uh, really starts in D minor, then goes to G minor, and finishes in E minor. So we're gonna start it here in D minor with its signature little uh, chromatic chord run. Sounds like this. So we're just starting on our D minor chord here. Seven, seven, eight, and 10. And we're just gonna walk it down one fret at a time. Now, after the third time, it goes from being a minor chord to being a major chord. Just moves one finger from there to there. But then it does two more times as a major chord and finishes here in the third fret. right back up in the exact same pattern. First two are major, last are minor. Another 
first uh, this action, where it just comes down from the, uh, it's an A flat really, from the first up to the third with that same chord formation. We're just walking that chord all around basically. And then right back up. It's an open G, bottom G, and then the middle two strings barred at the third fret. Now you're going to drop the C, the third fret on the A, down to the B flat, first fret on the A. Keep this note here, so it'll be open G, third, and first. We hit that twice. D, slide into the fifth fret of the D, uh, third of the A, back to the five of the D, and then this D minor chord, really a one finger D minor chord, all you need is the second fret of the, op of the low G string, and then the next two open. Combine those one more time. You'll do that. <laughs> Whoops! You'll do that twice in the song. And then it does this climbing part. This is open A, fifth fret of the A, eighth of the A. So then you keep your finger on the eighth fret of the A, drop down, also catch the high E in the fifth fret, and you'll hit the open D. So it's a nice D minor, basically, you're getting there. Down here to a G minor, third on the high E, first on the A. So, you move up here to this chord's fifth fret of the D string, and then third fret of the top two. Reach up with your pinky, grab the A. And then, and just let it back off again. So it'll be three, eight, three is your notes. And you'll go right back to that D minor, the open, eight, five. So before I get too far ahead of myself, that little phrase here, this whole thing. Started on seven, seven, eight, ten. We're gonna do this little run here. And what this is, ten, your pinky's already there because you're on this chord. So ten, it's just this pattern, it will be symmetrical. Ten, eight, six, five. And then on the next string down, ten, eight, Six, five, so exactly the same. Except that once you get to the five, you'll just keep going and add the fourth. And then to finish it off, you'll hammer on to the first open A, to the first fret twice. 
finish off with that D minor chord again. So. So as you're coming off this, you land on that D minor chord. It just walks right back down. You just jump back up to your, just like at the start of the song. Back up here. But when we get down to the third, we're not gonna walk back up. We're just gonna keep going down. It's gonna stay, it stays as a major chord here in the third fret, so it's an A flat. But we're just gonna walk it down one fret at a time. When you run out of fingers here, just drop, take this finger off, keep moving down so it's a G chord. And then just make it a minor. So it finishes there. Now we're in G minor. So. So we're going to take that same melody. Now we're going to work it through in G minor. And what we have here, fifth fret of the A to the 10, back to the five. So the chord here, which is five, five, eight to five, five, six, just a minor here. Twice. Now this little shape again. Fifth on the G. Third on the middle two. Reach up with your pinky on the eighth of the A. And let it go just like before. Finish with the G minor chord. G, eight, and five. So the whole phrase there. You'll do that twice again, of course. You know, in the real sub. Now this other part is exactly like what we did before, only everything is up one string. This is open D, fifth to the eighth, and then right on our big chord, where we've got the five here, down to, now it's a C minor because we've moved everything up a bit, three, to one, you hit that twice. You back up here, five, three, just the same little reach up to the eight as before. Eight, open three, and back to our finishing minor. Open, eight. Five. And just like before, we're going to come up to the same. Now, before we did it on the D minor, we did it here. Now we've just scooted everything up a string. To the G minor, we're still 10, 8, and 7. And we're going to do that same walk down. It's the same as before, only everything is up one string, but 10, 8, 6, 5, and then down here. 10, 8, 6, 5, and we'll end in the 4. You know, the first time we did this, this time we're doing this.
finishing off first fret instead of up here. We're doing first fret of the D. And ending on that open, open D with the G minor. pick up there and it'll walk down from that minor to this minor and then walk it down just like we've been doing down to the three and now we're gonna walk down to E minor so we're just gonna keep going down oh, what do we do here I'm out of frets what should I do here's what I do is I take all my fingers off and hit everything <laughs> and then go to my D minor, or my E minor, sorry, E minor. Four, five, two. Because I just don't have enough frets to keep going down there, so I just, I call it a slot chord. Sometimes when I need a chord, I just, I just hit them all open. It doesn't matter. There's no rules. And then I'll land on that E minor. Four. Five, two, so. So he goes by fast enough. You don't notice. And now we're in E minor to go through it one more time here. All right, so we've landed on E minor here. And uh, here's the next phrase. Under our fingers. Now we can do two things. We can either, you know, reach up from the second to the seventh and back, or since we're, our fingers are already on the seventh or the second, sorry, we can just hit that open E. And then move right into our here, just like before, only down here now. Uh, two, two, and five, and you just lift the five off to the three. Oops. Now the one finger D minor, the second fret of the G, everything else open, back to the fifth, and then back to the E minor, making sure we hit that second fret of the A because that's our um, melody note. Now here's our little climb. Five on the G, two on the D, and then five. Now keeping on the five, you reach down and grab the second fret of the A. And then come down here to the fourth of the D and the open A, so it's you know, basically a G to a D chord. Open A, back to the five, back to the open A, back to our E minor, just like before. And now, a big E minor chord. Four, uh, five, and seven. And you know what's coming, right? Exact same pattern as before, but now down here. So it's going to seven, five, three, two, and then seven, five, three, two, and then we'll add that one more. And our last 
passing here, fifth on the G, down to the fourth of the G of the G. song. And we're just going to pick out our little melody here. Really emphasizing that high E note on our E minor chord. Reach down second fret of the of the E string. Reach down here, grab the fifth fret of the A with your pinky's a handy place. Pick up that B there, the seventh fret of the high E. Does that twice. And then, whoops. <laughs> and then finish up on that high E minor. Nine, nine, 10, and 12. Now, of course, in the real song, after it does this, It goes into this whole thing where it goes into about seven different keys and the cellos are going and she's going over the top of it and all this. And, you know, we got to draw the line somewhere. So we'll just finish it off right here. And then we'll just finish it off on this nice E minor up there. Hey, thanks for tuning in to Commando Land for a look at Phantom of the Opera. We'll see you next time.